Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a Dollar Tree haul. I had to go back and get some stuff for my craft sale. And then of course I kind of went looking around the whole store. So first of all, I bought some of these high chews and they're really weird. It's like, it's almost like you're chewing chewing gum but then it's not and it's, you kind of don't want to swallow it because it's, yeah, it's kind of weird but I don't know, so I'm not sure why people like these, but I don't think I do. The flavor was good. It's just a weird, it feels like you're going to choke on it if you try to swallow it. That's I think that's just a kind of a, you know, mentality. <laughs> anyway, so that was a bit of a disappointment. Then I had a coupon. For $1.50 off two packs of Werther's, so I got both of these for $0.50. I've never seen that. That might be really good. And I like the soft caramels. <clears throat> so then, um, I'm going to save this for last. Then I had a coupon for $3 off three Crest products. So I got three tubes of Crest for free. I think that was in, that might have been a couple weeks ago in the, in the Sunday paper. Um, then I found this gorgeous color. It's, it's way more fuchsia than what shows up. <clears throat> and then I found this baby powder. It smells really pretty. Mmm, I love it. So I can't wait to put that on tonight. Um, we'll put it on as in my little candle warmer because I can't. I'm not allowed to burn candles. Um, then they had a bunch of this 3M stuff. Like you could get like a packet, you know, like an, a, a plastic envelope that'll um, adhere to your fridge. And you can put, you know, like folders in it. And then like all kinds of stuff. They had about six different little pocket post-it notes and this goes on our stainless doesn't is obviously not magnetized so all our little things are on the side of the fridge which I don't mind because I hate having I mean I know it's everybody loves it but I can't stand a refrigerator that's just full of junk because nobody ever changes it I, my sister's got that she's got photos up there from 30 years ago and it's just dumb so this though I'm gonna put on my dishwasher so that I can put a thing on there if clean or dirty because I always forget. Or maybe on the fridge and put two notes on it or, or a couple notes. I don't know. We'll see. Um, then I had these in my hand three times at different stores um, in the, you know, the last few weeks. And I put them back and I thought, you know what, I better just get them while the getting's good. So I went to a this new Dollar Tree over in Roseville, and it was really nice. They didn't have any, and I was like, see, I knew it. So then on the way home, I'm trying to find mugs for my craft sale. Um, the Roseville Dollar Tree didn't have anything, so I went to the one in um, East St. Paul, and they had these, but they only had, I'll show you the mugs they had, and, I, and the project I'm doing, I'm putting vinyl on mugs, and I'll, I'll kind of do a little spiel about that but I'm gonna use these for my IKEA Raskog cart <clears throat> then I found these coasters just for like on the patio or I should say deck or wherever and then my local neighborhood Dollar Tree doesn't have these and I like using these for oh, they're all bent up I got it. but I like using these for um, banana bread or whatever kind of bread to freeze, um, you know, because then you can just throw them out when you're done. So I got those, and then I had purchased these before. And what I do is I make Jello, a batch of Jello and a batch of pudding every week, and then just fill them up. And then I you know my husband can take one or two for lunch or snack during the day. And then um, it's just easier that way. It's kind of like a grab and go thing. So that's worked out well, but there's, how many are in here? Five in the pack. So I had five, and if I make a box of gel, a box, big box of gel and a big box of pudding, 
I actually need eight. So I just got another set for that reason. Then I found this string. This is kind of cool. I thought this would be cool for um, tying my tags onto all my craft sale projects, products, or items, <laughs> whatever. Um, and then this is new duct tape. It's pretty. They had a bunch, but I had been buying all this duct tape because I had a project in mind. And I tried doing my project the other day, and it didn't look like it did in my head. So I got to work on that, and I'm not going to buy any more duct tape until I get that figured out. <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't use a lot of paper plates, but kind of in the summer we do if we go out to the deck to eat. You know, it's going to be nicer just to take a paper plate on one of these and go out on the deck with our food instead of hauling all our dishes out there. And, um, you know, so I thought maybe we'll um, just use more paper plates this summer, but these are kind of cute. Okay, then this is my project stuff. Not this. I found, I love these little tapes. I bought the mini mouse ones, and they're great for planners because they're narrow. But look at how cute these are. And the Roseville store had tons of Disney themed stuff. Cups, I mean everything. All these, I mean just a whole shelf full. So here's that one. That's pretty. And then that one. Or this one. Hard to see it. Anyways, they're really cute. So those, oops, those are the frozen. And then they had a couple strips of glitter washi. They have like, um, Every color has lace and every color has solid, but I couldn't find the solid red. And then this is for a project I'm going to make to sell. I'm going to make these little berry baskets Yoli told me about. And she said she put um, like note cards in them, but I thought I'd make like a little planner station. <clears throat> so each um, basket will get like half of these. I bought, so I'm going to make four. And then each one will get a post-it note pad. And then each one will get one or two of these. Isn't that cute? So I bought two sets of those. Isn't that pretty? And then each one will get <clears throat> two of these. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut them. I don't know. I'm going to see. And then they'll each get a couple pencils. And then I'm going to take these and cut them in half so they're, you know, this size, three by, what are they, three by four? What is this, five by seven? So they're, they'll be two and a half by three and a half, like that. And then I'll make little envelopes for them because they've got some kind of flimsy envelopes, but I might just keep those for cards or whatever. So I'm going to do that with these. And I'll show the little basket when I'm done. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is just awful. So I bought four of these, and um, you really got to pick these over. It's kind of like picking out lumber. Let me see if I can get this to... It's like picking out lumber at the um, lumber yard, whatever, because you really have to look over them. They're not, one of them is going to be perfect, they're dirty, but you can get pretty with as few blemishes or, see like there's, there's one, so I'll have to be sure to put the design over here, because with vinyl you don't want any kind of bumps like that, but it was slim picking, so I got four of those, and <clears throat> here's a mug that I made with these smaller ones that, and they've got really great colors at the Dollar Tree of these. So I cut this out on my Cricut. I found an image 
on um, you know Googling it, and then I just brought it into Illustration, or I mean Photoshop, turned it into a kind of a line drawing, and then um, made it a ping file so I could bring it into my silhouette and cut it. I did a video on that. And then I found um, this vintage image, and that's my tag for my mugs. And then I put Life is Better at the Lake on the back. Um, that's just this one. I made them all kind of different. And then this morning, I had seen this, some, you know, this saying. So I just um, uh, designed the font so that it's kind of easy, so that I don't have to worry about, you know, the little um, insides of letters. Um, and with this font, it works because it, it cuts it out as a block. If you have a silhouette, you'll know. And then this font is really cool. I think that's Catalina script. And I don't remember. This is bubble. And then I thought, how funny would it be? I love this saying. Um, the saying I found on Pinterest, but I didn't, it didn't have anything with it. It had it styled different. Um, and then I thought, how funny would it be to have the scream on the back? So I think I'm going to make a few more of these out of the white mugs because to me, I think it's kind of funny. That's the, um, what's that one artist, that Norwegian artist, the scream. So anyways, that's that mug. And see, there's already, you know, or not already, but there's a little chip there. But I don't have a problem with that. It's when there's, you know, big holes on the color of the glass. So those are the mugs, and here's all my projects. I'm going to show most of my mugs, because I've made about, oh my gosh, about 20 of them. I was going to get more colored mugs, but, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I really like this style mug for this project, because you have to put the vinyl on so that it doesn't get any bubbles. So you have to get it around this curve. Well, this one was really a little tougher, because not only do you have a curve this way, but it curves this way. So this got a little more putsy, and <clears throat> it works, but I kind of just like the easier. Like these would be, I've made a bunch of these, yeah, so these were pretty easy. But these actually, for the product, or project, this is the best um, style. But they didn't have any of those, so I was, no, they, yeah, they didn't. They didn't have these anymore, so I was not so well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. I'm telling you to believe when I say.